Hi everyone, it's me again and because I'm this time keeping up with the numbers of the videos we are on video testimonial number 26 pretty sure Ooh, we are video number. Yeah. yeah, good number right? <laughs> and today as you well know I bring along my clients because their story, their journey with the process of what we do with the structural release process is really important because it allows and helps people members of the public like yourself who are looking for pain relief and whatever else <laughs> uh, to help relate because everything that people come to see me with is relatable to what we're going through in our lives tension in the throat, neck, belly, wherever it is everyone out there can relate to some point so today I have with me one of my long-standing <laughs> clients uh, he's a ball and bag of fun and I uh, have sometimes <laughs> Squeeze that fun out of her <laughs> when we're doing it. But anyway, this is Sue. Say hello, Sue. Hi, Sue. Okay. Pops, pops in. It's okay. So, Sue, um, long story short, we have known each other for years and years, but mm. what the public don't know is that it was, it's almost like almost 30 years later that you found me when you were looking for what? Yeah, well, I was basically going through sciatica in a you know, really grueling episode of it, and I just thought, I've got to get this sorted out. So I literally went onto my laptop. I went, I'm going to find this person. And I just clicked on the first one. And I went, Rayak, that's it. Three letters, <laughs> three letters. Sounds great. He lives near. Done. And, that, and then that was it. Yeah. And then, oddly, okay, oddly enough, <laughs> Sue didn't actually know me until I pointed out that I knew her from classes and stuff that we used to do back in the day. So anyway, to, to cut a long story short, she then came to see me and everything and then discovered what I did. And literally, you haven't looked back, have you? And I'm, I'm, I'm powered to know. I'm, I'm ready for the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> As a fighter. I get, I get all kinds of people and some people come for basic pain relief because as you can see through what I do, I'm treating all different parts of the body. But when it comes to having been on a program to change everything from top to bottom we do literally as you can see in the videos work top to bottom and that's when if you can if you, you'll see the pictures from sue from when she first came in to what she looks like now in order to get that kind of an amazing result and to be as far removed from pain as possible from when you walked in you do have to have that holistic approach of okay you can work on the parts but if you want the whole change You've got to work on the whole, and that's what we've done, haven't we? Absolutely. And yeah. uh, everything's changed on Sue. Uh, the in, curvature in of her back, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. curvature of her back, the way her stomach sits, how long she sits there, uh, the shoulders, the neck, throat. Pretty much everything has changed. So releases, because people are going to be, you know, kind of scratching their head. Uh, the people who don't know this process, of course. What has the process done for you in terms of the, the pain relief as well as the releases on other levels shall we say wow um i mean pain pain is a sort of temporal thing and it comes and goes so i mean obviously you aren't to eradicate the sciatica and that was amazing and now and again i get little touches of it but i know how to sort of deal with it from learning really how to you know navigate my body um in terms of release i mean i've kind of uh, released a lot on an emotional level as well as a physical level. I found it um, really amazing for like, it's, it's trauma healing really for me. I've, yeah. I've had lots of memories that have come and I've, I feel like I've cleared a lot of sort of childhood uh, abuse really, um, you mm, know, from yeah. work. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's everyone's, everyone's on a journey, we're all on a journey, everyone's got a different story. And I know Sue's was uh, a very traumatic journey for her, but since being able to be looser in mm -hmm. yourself and not be mm. rigid and not you know because we you know when when we don't take up space we become rigid and locked up don't we it seems yeah, good yeah. now how do you feel taking up I, so I, much space I, I, you do? I, I feel just liberated i feel like i can kind of like move out into the cosmos because you do learn to feel into the space and when you stretch you just keep stretching as well i just I have this feeling you know when i wake up in the morning i do lots of deep breathing and i just feel this kind of infinite expansion like inside and a softness uh, in the tissues as well so to the average listener 
deep breaths are deeper. De yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, we'll look <laughs> deeper. Yeah. No, look at it. Deep breaths are deeper. <laughs> because we work on the abdomen as well, how has your digestion been affected? Well, amazing. I mean, I don't, I don't normally eat meat, but one day I went to my mate's house and she was offering me a steak. I didn't want to turn it down. And I ate it and I thought, oh God, I'm, that's going to go through me. And the next day, my stomach was so tight and I've really properly digested it. Mm. So it, it, it's great. I mean, I go regularly, you should be doing. Uh, it, you know, I feel amazing. I don't get any stomach aches, never get any headaches. Mm. Yeah. Movement wise, because, uh, you know, as people get older, they can even get pain from walking. Mm. <laughs> Going on walks, it hurts them. I get people in their thirties and everything. Mm. How is the movement? It's so much better because I started to get a lot of uh, feelings of stiffness in my feet, my toes, my calves, um, and obviously I've done a lot of like leg work and footwork, and everything's just so much more looser and freer. Mm.